We are still learning more as this afternoon turns into evening. And for the latest on the emergency response there and the early investigation, let's turn to NBC's Francis Quo. It's being described as pure chaos. Cameras were rolling when at least two violent explosions erupted near the main grandstand of the Boston Marathon. It happened near the finish line as thousands of runners were completing the race. The two loud explosions ripped across the area, sending spectators and marathoners fleeing. There was just debris coming right across the street and then everybody just started running and yelling and we ran into the Mandarin Hotel. It happened during the height of the marathon. The elite runners had finished and the bulk of runners were coming through on the final stretch of the race. There was one right at the finish line. It was just this huge pile of smoke and then it sounded like a huge cannon went off and then it another one just happened right across from us and it, it it was just this huge, huge explosion and there's just debris everywhere. The remaining runners were diverted and the race canceled as emergency crews rushed in. Injuries are severe. The majority of those hurt are believed to be bystanders. Everybody started running the other way. There were a few people that were running over towards them to help out the injured, and there were some really bad, bad injuries. Some people were very, very badly hurt. The explosion was so powerful that some runners on the course were knocked to the ground. Now police and emergency officials in Boston are dealing with a mass casualty situation. Francis Coe, NBC News. Well, with hundreds of runners from our area in Boston right now for the marathon, that's why we feel it's important to uh, keep you abreast of the local coverage here on KXA. And we will, of course, be going to President Barack Obama, scheduled to address the nation in about five minutes. So we will broadcast that live in its entirety. But we know that people here have been trying to contact friends and loved ones there in Boston. KXAN's David Scott checked with one popular running store here in town that's trained so many of those runners. David? Leslie, we've got a lot of fine foot races ourselves right here in Austin, but there's nothing quite like the allure of the romantic pinnacle of the sport, and that is the Boston Marathon. Now, rogue running trains many people. They've trained hundreds over the years. 50 they sent up this year after some training to Boston. And when word came out of the explosion today, there was concern. Were our folks okay? We put a, a post up to um, have everyone check in and that sort of spread out to the network and beyond. And so far we've heard from, you know, probably 90 to 99 percent of those people. So we're, we're feeling very, very blessed right now that everyone is, seems to be safe. When you think about it, folks at a marathon are very vulnerable. You've got 25,000 runners spread over 26 miles out in the middle of the road. All those thousands and thousands of fans absorbed in the race in front of them, maybe not seeing what else is going on. We're going to learn a lot more about this, but right now there are a lot of Central Texans who look forward to seeing their friends and loved ones return home from Boston safe and sound. David Scott, KXAN News. And there are a number of local races on the schedule in the coming weeks that police will be focusing on, which in itself is a challenge, of course. As we told you about during last month's South by Southwest, Austin police have 1,646 officers already right now. That is short of what a full staff would be, 1,700. With all the events the city hosts, the police chief has talked about needing more than 250 officers by the year 2017 just to keep up with regular work in addition to special events. Coming up next weekend in Austin, the big event, the inaugural Moto GP at the Circuit of the Americas racetrack. At the November Formula One Grand Prix race last year, attendance was more than 117,000 people on the final day. Also next weekend, there will be the finish of the BPMS 150. The two-day cycling race starts in Katy, just west of Houston, and ends at the Bob Bullock State History Museum in downtown Austin. And then in two weeks' time, the popular Slotsky's Bun Run in Austin, the 5K and 10K start at Auditorium Shores and use mainly West Cesar Chavez and Lake Austin Boulevard.